the Life Series channel. My name is Alaj Moke and I am your host. If this is your first time watching this channel, welcome. If this is your returning time, you already know how I feel about you, right? Mm, you're the real MVP. So let's get straight into today's subject. I'm sure you must have seen um, the title of the video and then you clicked to watch because you're like, ah, what's this going to talk about? Is this even related to what the YouTube channel is about? <laughs> So let's get straight into it and I will start by um, putting out there a very quick disclaimer. This video is not me telling anyone watching what to do or what not to do. At the end of the day, regardless of what I say or what I think, you still have a choice to make and I am not coming here to exactly tell you what is wrong or what is right. I'm only sharing my experience and I really do hope that somebody out there will learn from it. Is that okay? Is that okay? Shall we begin? Shall we begin? <laughs> okay, so um, talking about horror movies, the last time I like sat down to see um, a horror movie, by the way, uh, what I would term horror may not be horror to people that really watch horror movies so in fact when I the few times I have told people about this particular movie that I'll be making reference to that's the people that really watch horror movies they were like oh that's not even horror like if you watch the real horror you know that that's not even horror ah, they're like I didn't want to watch the real horror this one I'll see is okay <laughs> but the last time I saw a movie that and um, to me is horror maybe not that deep shot it was maybe last year or two years ago and that was bed box and that's really no horror to be honest to you and i however the last time i saw horror 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 movie that some people still think is not very horror was when i was in 200 level and i'll never forget my experience and i'm going to share that experience with you now um, I was in 200 level, it was at night, I was in a room with three of my other friends and we saw this movie called Insidious. Now if you're a horror movie lover, you probably would have heard or encountered that movie called Insidious. And as much as that movie isn't as bloody or as gory as most horror movies are now, it's was still really scary <laughs> so that night we saw the movie um, four of us and at the time we were like young Christians blazing hot for God tongues speaking demons kicking <laughs> and then we saw after seeing this movie that the movie isn't bloody it wasn't like anybody was killing anybody but it was about um, like a spirit or a demonic presence that has been with someone or the family now. I really can't remember the exact storyline now. And that presence had been with that person from when he was young, or with the family, whatever now. From when they were young, and I think it was like a generational thing. And so the movie wasn't like bloody like really gory but it was something that a, a typical african could relate to because i mean and this is not me being superstitious you know how if you still don't believe that there are demonic presence and that things happen in the spirit realm and they're all around us then i don't know i can't help you <laughs> so after seeing the movie we felt this strange presence in the room and i'm not kidding you we felt something was off and it wasn't exactly fear but we felt gripped by this unusual sensation and it wasn't pleasant four of us at the same time and we just busted out speaking in tongues 
it wasn't like we said, oh, I'm scared, I'm afraid, let's pray. I mean, it was four of us. And horror movies are movies that a lot of people even watch alone at night and they don't feel fearful, you know. But we just knew something was off. And spontaneously, we all just started to pray. We held hands. And because we weren't even sure what to pray about, we couldn't explain what we were feeling. We couldn't explain what was exactly happening. We were just praying. And so the best thing to do was just to speak in tongues. And we spent a lot of minutes just speaking in the Holy Ghost, like just praying and praying and praying in tongues. As much as this video is not about the importance of praying in the Holy Ghost, but you really need to learn to speak in tongues. You don't, it's, you don't, you don't, do you have to? It's not most. Anyways, this video is not about speaking in tongues or not, but that was really what helped us because the Bible says that we do not know what to pray for, you know, but the Spirit intercedes on our behalf, and that's one of the importance of praying in the Holy Ghost. And so we kept praying in tongues and just kept praying in the Holy Ghost until whatever it is we were feeling subsided. Now, that was the last time. In fact, when the part two and part three and part whatever of that movie came out, I told myself I'm not even going to see the thriller. Like, I have no business with this movie. I have no business with any movie like this because I would never forget that encounter. And this brings me to the main point here, right? And this may or may not be my personal opinion, but it is like what I, this is what I think. And there are a couple of people that also think about this. Um, before I end this video, I'm going to be playing a video I downloaded from Jackie Perry's um, Insta story. I just stumbled on a story that day and it was exactly talking about this topic. And so, just so you know that what I am saying is, just, is not just my opinion. There are a couple of people that are really spiritually sensitive and have figured this thing out. And they are saying the same thing. And um, this is going to be the base for what I'm going to say now. The Bible says that you should guard your heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. Out of it flows the issues of life. Guarding your heart is identifying the gates to your heart and protecting those gates. So your eyes, what you see, what you listen to, what you think about, these are like some of the various gates to our heart. And so if you don't man those gates, if you're not protective of those gates, you allow all sorts of things into it. And this is why some people don't even listen to circular music. Again, that is story for another day because I'm not saying that I don't listen to circular music. However, back to, back, let's get back on track. This is what I will say. I believe that horror movies or things generally movies what we listen to what we watch what we see some of these things and this is not this is not that all of these things some of these things have spirits behind them and unknowingly to you you may just be indulging these things innocently but you are also carrying or you're also bringing in or you're also indulging the spirits behind this thing so this is how i think when I watch a movie, I'm like, what is the writer of this movie thinking? Or what was he or she thinking when he or she was thinking about this movie? You know, I'm more of a psychology person. I like to know the reasons or the thoughts behind things, behind actions. And so it is scary for me when I see something that is so gory. And I'm like, what was this person thinking? When this person was imagining all of this what kind of person is this that would be able to conceive something as dark as demonic as this and so i'm always very weary and we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy you can say oh jumoke you're being paranoid you're being superstitious you can say that all you want but i Ola Jumoke, and a couple of other people we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy and we're going to speak against what we think it is because it is what it is whether you agree or not um so recently someone um one of my very dear someone i really love so much came to visit me at the house 
and I walked into the room and I saw that I just felt off a certain I just felt some kind of way and I was just like ah baby girl what's up what are you watching and you know she showed me the movie and I told her straight up I was like no that is not allowed here as long as you are here in my vicinity in my space you're not allowed to watch horror movie here because you do not know what it is that you're bringing into my house there there's so much that we're all dealing with there's like there's a lot of battles out there don't bring don't bring more please don't i don't like I don't want to feel anything strange and if any demon comes near me that demon is going to collect like collect so just demon stay where you are i stay where i am under the shadow of the almighty right under his wings you stay where you are and i am not going to bring you into my space because you give the devil an inch it takes an entire yard so please you know and i strictly want the person in this house we don't watch horror movies we don't watch anything that does not sit well with us in our spirit and so um what is this that i was going to say i think i've been talking so much but that's the point you open your 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 your, your heart to these things you imbibe spirit some of these movies have spirits attached to them and you bring them into your space and you think it's a joke it is not a joke you you indulge in all these movies and then one day you realize that you are now a fearful person you are now um you are depressed the things that you didn't used to do you are forming bad habits and you're wondering but i'm not like this or how did i get to be this person or why am i so fearful why am i having terrible dreams why why am i feeling strange presence around me and you can't explain it see you need to shut those demons out you need to shut them out you need to shut every access that they have to you if you don't watch horror movies you will not die nothing will nothing is going to be wrong with you you can train yourself to stop it there are several other things that you can do other movies you can watch that will bring so much joy and happiness and beautiful presence and beautiful imaginations into your head again this is not for everybody let him that hath here let him what here anyways um so i'm going to be pausing right here and i'm going to be playing a video it's about two minutes please be very patient this topic is something that god has laid in my heart for a while and i'm glad that i am finally 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 talking about it and i really hope that everybody watches and like just understand what i'm trying to say so i'll be playing the video from jackie perry now we got to be careful with being so curious that we open up doors to things that we don't need to be for example i am a extremely curious person in kindergarten i won the award for most inquisitive it has surely worked out for my teaching ministry to ask a lot of questions okay <laughs> so that that's a part of my nature but the lord has had to teach me girl you don't need some stuff you just need to entrust the mystery to me okay i was watching this documentary or trying to about this witch because i was just so intrigued by like oh like what kind of ritual she be doing or like why is she like that or what happened in her life to bring her to this point where she wants the devil to be her friend like what is this about and the first maybe two minutes it just didn't feel right in the room but i just was like but i just want to see like what she why she why she doing it so even though it felt a little dark a little eerie you know I, I was like, I'm going to keep watching it, but let me pray. So I was like, Lord, if you don't want me to watch this, tell me. Kept playing. Preston walks in the house, walks in the room. Mind you, it's nighttime. I, it was just too much. He walks in the room, immediately says, what are you watching? I was like, oh, it's this documentary about this lady. And she's like a witch. And she'd be like, you know, doing all this stuff. He was like, as soon as I came in the house, I felt a evil presence. Turn it off. And I was like, man, 
I was just so curious about the witch. I didn't realize that a demon would try to show up because I played the doc. <laughs> we, we don't we don't need all our questions answered. Some some stuff ain't for us to know. So I'm gonna just put that that there. Practically speaking, now you don't need to be watching Doja Cat video. You don't need to be listening to everybody's album just to see what it sounds like or, or the production. You, you don't need to be watching every show to, to, to see what... Pe- you, you don't... you don't. Some stuff ain't for you to know because I keep saying the enemy will leverage technology, whether that's entertainment, whether that's books, whether that's movies, whether that's media, to access your mind, your all the things. Be careful i ain't saying don't study i ain't saying but just use wisdom take it from me even that night when i say the enemy was trying to mess with my mind like i was trying to go to sleep and felt dizzy where i realized oh i i i gave y'all access to me in a way that i shouldn't have just because i was curious so and i'm gonna just say this because i'm anticipating one response which is like, I, I, why are y'all so afraid of the devil? It's, this ain't this ain't about fear. Surely. <laughs> we serve Jesus Christ who has triumphed over all demons, who is who is who is authoritative and victorious over all principalities and rulers and authority. So so the issue is not fear. The issue of what is one of wisdom, which is defined by not being ignorant to the enemy schemes. That's what Paul said. I am not ignorant to his schemes. And so in response to knowing how the enemy moves, he moves in a particular way. So as not to be so arrogant as to think that the enemy ain't trying to attack me or destroy me or confuse me or mess with my, like you can't, you can't have the audacity to be out here coming against the kingdom of darkness and then still be meddling with the darkness and think that he ain't going to leverage the darkness to try to, so move different that's all I- okay welcome back if you watch this video up until this moment thank you and well done i hope you've learned a thing or two and this is my final note guard your heart with all diligence do not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy there are demons anywhere everywhere and there are through several channels. This one I spoke about is just one channel. Protect your space. And if you feel that you have already indulged what you shouldn't have indulged, you can, you can kick that demon out. You can just pray, pray, pray the blood of Jesus. Pray with the word of God. Let every demonic presence or demonic spirit flee from you. I honestly don't know what else to say, but I wish I could like just beg everyone watching. Guard your heart. Guard your heart. Please guard your heart. I am not a fan of horror movie. I will never be a fan of horror movie. I will not tolerate it in my presence. If I find out that you are doing it in my own space, I am going to ask you to stop right there. I'm going to shut like let no demon even just come around me. Let no demon come around me. Thank you for watching. I promise. The next topic I'll talk about. Oh no, I don't promise. But I hope it's only this deep and this personal. Ah, I feel like this this one has really taken a lot from me. Because I'm usually not this passionate <laughs> when I talk about other topics. <laughs> I touch the rest of your day. I hope you've learned a thing or two. Please, 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 I'm begging you. Um, hit the subscribe button like and share this video share this video share this video Something in your mind will be telling you don't share don't share it's a very controversial topic share it You may be saving somebody you may even be saving yourself <laughs> All right, enjoy the rest of your day till I come your way again. My name is Alanjima. Okay, take care of yourself. Bye